Have you ever wondered how many of the devices we use on a daily basis operate? The alarm clocks that wake us up in the morning to the street lights outside of your home all share something in common. This technology is known as a light emitting diode, also known as the LED. Hi, my name is Kristen Riscala and I'm here to represent our company called Tech Geeks. It is my pleasure today to walk you through this revolutionary technology that is still evolving to this day. Throughout this video, you will discover why this form of technology in particular exceeds other leading forms of technology of the present day. So who was responsible for the LED? Well, the LED originated from the University of Illinois, where Professor Nick Holignac Jr. did his research in the General Electric Research Lab. He concluded that LEDs were simply small light bulbs that fit well into an electric circuit. Professor Holignac had discovered that the LED was a form of a semiconductor, which is a material able to conduct electricity under certain conditions. The conductor material in the LED in particular is named aluminum gallium arsenide. Entirely pure forms of this conductor cannot induce electricity because there is a perfect bondage between the contained atoms and their surrounding atoms, which leaves no free electrons to produce current. We can alter the conductor in order for it to actually conduct current through a process called doping. In this process, additional free electrons are added to the conductor to make the material more conductive. We can witness this phenomenon through many technologies one uses daily, like in our computers, cell phones, digital clocks, downlights in a kitchen, calculators, flashlights, holiday lights, and many more. It is evident that the light emitting diode has been utilized for many successful and what we consider necessary products one needs to live. It's quite interesting in knowing how a light emitting diode functions. A diode can be defined by an electrical component with two terminals that allow electricity to flow in one direction only. As mentioned beforehand, LEDs function by moving electrons through a doped semiconductor. Doping allows extra electrons to move from a negatively charged area to a positively charged area. LEDs contain specific semiconductors that can either be called N-type material, where the charged carriers are electrons, or P-type material, where the charge carriers are made up from the absence of electrons, or holes. An LED is composed of these two types of materials bonded together, called the junction. This allows for additional electrons to jump from positive hole to positive hole. Consequently, the holes appear to become negatively charged and there is a creation of an insulation layer in the middle of the diode called a depletion zone. The depletion zone is home to a space where all positive holes are filled and no free electrons are able to fill the spaces, and therefore no current can flow. In order to return to a state where current can flow, the end type of the diode must be connected to the negative terminal of a circuit, as well as the p-type side of the diode to a positive terminal of the circuit. The electrons moving freely in the n-type material are as a result repelled by the negative side of the circuit and attracted to the positive terminal. Meanwhile, the holes in the p-type material are attracted to the negative terminal of the circuit. Electric charge is able to move along a path when there is enough potential difference or voltage between two terminals. When this does happen, the electrons contained within the depletion zone are pushed out of their holes and begin to move freely once again. Amazingly enough, when there is enough power added to LEDs, it excites the electrons leading to the production of light. LEDs come in a variety of colors depending on the type of semiconductors present. Now that we're familiar with how an LED functions, let us discuss the advantages an LED has over any other light producing technologies. While LEDs are more costly than a regular light bulb directly, their benefits in the long run make them a much better purchase. One might also be unwilling to buy an LED because of the fact that they are vulnerable at high temperatures. However, aside from these minor complications, light emitting diodes will surely be advantageous to you in the long run. Firstly, LEDs can fit easily into modern circuits and are fairly simple to install. They are incredibly efficient since there is no filament that must be warmed in order to produce visible light, and there is therefore no loss of energy through heat. This results in transferring almost all of the electrical energy into light energy. 
LEDs are much safer than other bulbs because they reduce the risk of combustion since they are much cooler than incandescent bulbs. Are you convinced yet? Well, if you're still skeptical, LEDs do not have a filament that will eventually burn out and can therefore last much longer than the conventional incandescent bulb. LEDs are known to have a lifespan of more than 50,000 hours. LEDs are also much more durable than incandescent bulbs since they are made from epoxy lenses rather than glass. These types of lights produce uniform light dispersion, making them brighter than the incandescent bulb. And compared to the compact fluorescent bulb, LEDs contain no toxic mercury that can be potentially fatal to buyers. LEDs are easier and less costly to dispose of than CFLs because of the lack of toxic mercury present. Lastly, filters, as needed by other bulbs, are not needed by LEDs since they're built to produce light in a variety of colors. LEDs also have an impact on societal and environmental aspects, mostly in an advantageous way. For one, they are good for encouraging plant growth because the light intensity can be controlled and because there is no generation of harsh heat. Secondly, LEDs have the potential of relieving economic issues and reducing taxes within a community. Our recent government study states that an LED put in effect for the next 20 years will contribute to saving approximately $250 billion in energy consumption. LEDs are responsible for the reduction of hundreds of pounds of CO2 per bulb, a significant figure when it comes to maintaining our environment. Lastly, LEDs lead to a safer environment because traffic lights that contain LED lights are more sharp and clear than a regular light bulb. LEDs are instant, which when put in a machine like a car's brake lights will lead to a safer environment. There are many implications of the LED in terms of its future development. Miscellaneous uses such as the LED high definition television are well recognized for their superb quality and are sought out for by many. Most cars of today incorporate LEDs as part of their structure, for example, brake lights. Injection lasers are a new technology that uses a special form of LED, where there is a use of a flat junction. This injection laser emits electromagnetic waves and is used in clinical environments. Another future development of the LED is the LED light bulb, which is steadily being discovered and will soon be placed in our homes or workplaces. It's your turn now. Make a good investment and choose LED. This has been a message from Tech Geeks. Thank you for your attention.